Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Goddess Queen 1111 Tarot. Welcome. I hope everyone is high vibing. I have a message for you. Um, please share, like, and follow. Sorry, my nose itching already. Please share, like, and follow. Um, if this message resonates with you, if you are new, welcome. Thank you for joining me, and I appreciate all of y'all for y'all support, love, donations. Thank you so much. It's much appreciated, and may spirit bless you 10 times fold. All right. I did do a pre-pull, okay? Um, what came out is fake friends. Fake friends, liar, spiritual hater, investigating, photo proof, crazy, making amends. Now, as I want to say this about this message, this can be, even though only fake friends is out here, but I'm channeling multiple energies, okay, besides a fake friend. I'm even, I'm picking up here, it could be an ex-lover too, man or a woman, so this ain't no gender specific, it could be for a man or a woman, okay, so just take it how it resonates with you. And just comment it and like and show me that support that everything what I'm saying is true. Um, if you do had a friend in the past and you let this friend go, this friend is very spiritually hating on you. Like they're hating on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. Okay. Um, not just only that, they've been spying on you, been trying to get some type of photo proof. And I believe they've been trying to, if, if your friend know who you used to date or whatsoever, this friend could be, um, could be trying to get evidence, um, for this masculine or feminine, um, to spy on you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And uh, even though we got the big ass liar right there, hold on. This means that this person is going back telling this ex a lot of false information just to make this person go ballistic and fucking crazy. All right. Um, so it's making your person get some type of investigation on to fucking spy on you, okay? Um, not just only just a friend and his ex, I believe like family members are involved in this too, okay? <clears throat> Even a coworker, anybody, it, whoever it is could be in on this. Especially if you cut motherfuckers off because I just did another split, okay? And it said right here, you cut ties. Okay, so if you cut ties with, with a person, if you know me, if you never saw me before, I, I do a lot of split um, cards. I do pick up cards whenever my hands just touch. I just pick up, you know, and, you know, it goes like that. And I just seen to a sword. So it's just telling me here, that's the decision that you made. You made a difficult decision to, <clears throat> to cut somebody off. And I said to a sword, you see the two. The two of scissors, like two of swords. That's what it's saying right here. I'm going to show you what I, what I just picked up here. Um, <clears throat> what was at the bottom of the deck right here? The two of swords. Okay. And then death is behind it. So it's like you ended, you ended a situation into a new beginning. Okay. And you got a lot of people that is pissed off about you because you did cut their ass off and you chose yourself. You chose to love on you. You chose to focus on on the future and you chose to just move forward and you want better in life you want to do better you want better and yeah so it is a lot of investigation is going on around you okay um 
um, and somebody is trying to get some type of evidence. And like I said, I believe you got some friends, family, and them, you know, getting effort, evidence and stuff, lying on you and everything. Going back to this ex, telling a lot of dang on stories and stuff. But at the same time, their ex is fucking cuckoo to fucking Cocoa Pub. And so the rest of these people, and this is the people that you don't want. This is the main reason why you cut their ass off. So I clarified the friends part. I'm like, okay, so who are these friends? Okay, who are these friends that's going against the motherfucking collective? That's how I felt. I'm like, who are these friends? So you know, I couldn't wait. I'm so thirsty, you know. I got to know more. So I clarified it, and this is what it came out when I shuffled. Your copycatters. These bitches been copying off of you the whole damn time, um, collective. Yeah, karmic that's in the way. All right? So it's a karmic that's been in the way of your relationship the whole damn time, okay? A, a, a friend or friends. If you only had one friend, this could have been their friends, Okay? That's been coming against you the whole dang on time by copying off of you, wanting what you want. You know what I'm saying? Going against you and every dang on thing. That's what I see, right? So these karmics the whole damn time been getting in your way in your relationship. And this old masculine or feminine took heed of this stuff, you know? Um, uh, accepting the lies that they were saying about you, Okay. Um, like I said, these people are crazy, okay, or they will be, okay, or something like that, because you cut their ass off. Now someone here wants to make amends, and it just ain't only just this lover want to make amends with you, but it look like this friend want to make amends with you too, or maybe family members that wants to make amends with you. But at the same damn time, do you trust them? Because they the one that stabbed you in your back, you know what I'm saying? Lying on you and stuff, not telling the dang on truth because they jealous and envy and being a spiritual hater over over your dang on growth, okay, and your freaking involvement. All right. I know I just seen somebody on my um on my comments and they bust. And they said you know it's not about healing. It's about you know cutting people off, baby. It's everything about healing. I don't know who the fuck liked your motherfucking damn. Your comment when you said it ain't even about healing. It's about, uh, you know, just cutting people off, knowing things. Off. Baby, it's healing too, honey. You got to heal, baby. Okay, you can't sit around here, walk around here with fucking wounds and shit. And then just think that it's A-OK -okay to jump your ass in another damn relationship. And think it's A-O motherfucking K when it ain't going to be OK. Because, baby, you're going to get hurt again. Why? Because you have not healed. Healing is very, very important. It's very important that you know yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself, okay? I don't know why people be getting my dang on comments, be sitting around here talking about, you. Know, let me tell you something, you don't know shit about spirituality, you don't know shit about life, I can tell, you know what I'm saying? So please, and whoever followed behind that dang on comment, you just this idiot, it's just the rest of these motherfuckers that say any, anything out of their damn mouth. Healing is very important. It's important to heal, to evolve, and love on yourself. Choose you first. Okay, and set healthy freaking boundaries. Okay, not just cutting them off and no healing. All you gotta do is just cut them off. It's just that easy. No, it's not. Okay, so please. Okay, I'm very wise, very knowledgeable. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So don't come for me in my motherfucking comments. All right, but anyway, back to the motherfucking message. Blessings, everyone. Welcome. All right. I am picking up a narcissist. Because after I got done shuffling, the, the cat, the copycat and karmic ways came out. So at the bottom of the deck, again, spiritual, spiritual hater. So the same card at the bottom of the deck came out right along with this has shuffled out. That's crazy. Right. That's no coincidence. So it's heavy dang on spiritual hating going on. And these people are definitely a narcissist. All right? Yeah. And you got somebody here that's all in their head over you. Okay? Yeah. You could be an Egyptian descent. Okay? Yeah. These people are false. These are some false people. Okay? They fake as hell. They don't tell the damn truth. They lie and every damn thing. And after I got done shuffling these fake friends and all this other stuff right here, the bottom of the deck is second chance. So somebody here wants to their men 
with a second chance with you, okay? Yeah, because you out here too busy winning, all right? You too busy out here winning. That's why the lies what they said about you don't match of what you got the fuck going on with yourself. Yeah, you realize this is same shit, different day with these damn people, okay? Yeah, and whoever this friend is, she need to go get herself checked, okay? She got some type of health issues or whoever fem feminine that wants to dip and dabble all up in your business and stuff. They need to get their shit checked and they need to stay the F up out of yours, period. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What do you want to say? Yeah, because you're changing, right? It's something about a change that's within you. Yeah, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And you understand that nothing cannot grow e or evolve without even movement. And these people here wanted you to be in fear of your change, but you're not in fear, okay? You understand it. Being in fear is nothing but an illusion, right? Somebody here feel uh, regret of how they mistreated you, how they abandoned you, and how they um, used you, you know, as you was a no-down body, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's the message? Yeah, so be mindful of your friends, especially you ladies, okay? You got these copycat and assholes, all right? I don't understand why people want to go against each, each somebody, you know? That's sad, though, but it's it's out here. Yeah, we got envy at the bottom of the deck. Hey, I ain't got to talk. Hey, I ain't got to say nothing. There it is. Envy. They envy of you. Yeah. Freedom. And you freed yourself. Like I said, you cut ties. You freed yourself. And it said right here. I, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's what you did. You know, you 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 possessed it yourself to to free will yourself to create your own happiness, right? Why? Because honesty. You was being honest with yourself. And it said right here, I can't always expect from others, but I can expect from myself. So you understand that you can't expect the um, honesty from others, but you can't expect it from yourself. And that's why somebody is pissed off because you're being honest with yourself in this situation. You made a, you made a healthy decision to cut off people, places, and things. It don't matter if it's family, lovers, co-workers from the place or whatever that don't even serve you. You decide to cut off these things that don't serve you. All right, so you was being honest with yourself. You was being logic, okay? And that's the main reason why they feel some type of way because you used your freaking brain. <laughs> you used your intuition, you know what I'm saying, to cut them off, you know? Um, they wanted you to be in fear, be dumb, just, you know what I'm saying, believe in everything, you know? Weird, okay? The next step is growth, okay? So you're, you're growing, it's a lot of growth that's happening for you. And that's why they're investigating. That's why they're trying to get photo proof and evidence. But they can't get nothing off of you. They can't get no growth or nothing off. They can't get nothing bad off of you. So what they're going to do is they're going to lie. That's why liars right there. They're going to lie. They're going to say any motherfucking thing, anything. You know what I'm saying? And whoever that's freaking believing their lies, that's the person who you don't need to be with, period. Okay fucking weird to me all right i said i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and that's that's part of your your spiritual growth that you your spiritual growth that you are expanding your consciousness and your awareness of things that is around you okay yeah forgiveness yeah so you forgive these people i see forgiveness here all right it said i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks my flow of love so you choose not to hold on to hatred. You choose not to hold on to being envy of someone. You choose to not to hold on to be jealous or mad or pissed off or anything of anyone. You chose love. You chose to evolve. That's your consciousness of your awareness that you choose to evolve with love. You still choose to keep your heart open so you can be able to receive that whatever you had gave out, okay? It don't matter if you gave out to somebody in the past and if they mistreated you, it's A-OK -okay. because in the near future, the love that you continue on putting out, you are able to receive that love 
that what you pay, what you put out to everyone else, tenfold. I say people weird. They don't understand it. They just <laughs> do what the hell what they want to do. Now, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't know shit, bitch. Yeah. What, what the fuck did I just say? Did I just say an ex-lover could have been involved in just the ex-lover who they was going to to talk to? That's who they was talking to. This who they was people pleasing. This ex-lover or this ex-lover is a people pleaser. All right? Yeah. Evil eye in you. Can't stand you. Not at all. A false person. Somebody false as hell around you. That's why I'm single. That's why I don't fuck with. That's why I don't got no friends. Look at this shit. This lame. <laughs> Spirit said they lame as fuck. Okay? They fucking lame. That's what Spirit telling you. All of them. They all lame. Right? That's what the Holy Spirit is telling you. They all lame and that shit is coming out. Okay? For not telling the truth. That shit is coming out. They lame ass is going to be uh, revealed. All right? Because clock is ticking anytime sooner than you think. Yeah. Yeah. They try to block your fucking energy. They try to block everything for you. But they ass is blocked. Fucking weird. Yeah, because some about abandonment, abandonment. These people got abandonment issues, and by you cut their ass off, they had a problem with you. Okay? Come on now. And they was stalking you. Stalking you and stuff, and your dang on person over here paying people to investigate on you. Okay? Or got a real damn investigator. You know? To stalk you. To see if you, mm, excuse me, to see if you out here cheating or doing narcissistic ass shit. Fucking weirdo. Yeah. Somebody feeling awkward, okay? Trying to come against you, all right? Your ex lover, your friends, family members, everybody, they all codependent. These are some codependent ass people, okay? Straight up. That's very envious of you. Family members ain't came out. Yeah, but I know they're around, okay? Yeah, some love spell. This person, could, your ex could have been doing some type of love spell on you. Mm. Spirit said, mm -hmm. it backfired. <laughs> it backfired. It ain't working, all right? And Spirit said, and that's the damn truth. Everything what I'm saying, that shit backfired. Now somebody out here trying to play the damn victim, Okay? All right? Yeah, because they desperate for you. Damn. That shit crazy. Yeah. If somebody sit around here and left you for someone and chose somebody over you, then a damaged damn relationship. Or your friends and they wanted to see you in a damaged relationship. Okay, all right. If you out here growing and and moving forward and proving yourself, okay, people want to, somebody. They out here money hungry. Okay, they want to steal from you. Okay, you got friends, you got lovers, you got everybody wants to steal from you of your growth. Yeah, and these are low vibrational bottom feeders. Your fake ass friends or the friends that they got around you. Everybody is all stressed out because shit ain't working in their damn favor when it come down to fucking taking from you. All right? They fucking weird asses. Karmic interference. Yeah, someone is working against you. Drugs, addictions, and alcohol addictions. Somebody finna get arrested. Yeah. Somebody got sold a motherfucking dream. Okay? For believing in these damn lies these people then said. Yeah, that shit is backfiring on, I mean, some, yeah, for backstabbing, I'm like backfiring, backstabbing, yeah, for backstabbing you. I don't know, I keep, I see a Taurus energy heavy, okay, a, a heavy ass Taurus energy, all right, yeah, somebody all in their head over you, okay, I don't know, did this person go out and got married and shit, and if they did, shit, congratulations, but you don't give a fuck. Right, collectors? You don't give a fuck. Let's be real. You don't. And if you do, shit, you need some fucking healing. And motherfucker over there on my damn comments and shit talking about something. It ain't about not just be healing. It's about 
It's about just cutting them off, you know, not dealing with them. It's a lot about healing. Healing is very important to me. That means you need another damn karmic cycle to go through because you ain't learned your lesson yet. Tenfold Ashe. Anyway, somebody here finna get ready to get arrested, okay? For trying to steal from you or want to. Yeah, somebody feeling confused and lost a lot of people. Okay, we got anxiety here. A lot of anxiety going on here. Because due to this red damn flag, you realize that motherfuckers around you nothing but red flags. Yeah, look. They're about to get caught. Whatever they're trying to do to you, they're about to get caught. These friends, these lovers, these exes, anybody, right? Drugs and alcohol was involved too a lot. That's what the fuck would they be doing? Getting fucking drunk and high and being whores and fucking dirty ass. Yeah, they discontent. Look at this. Four damn cups. Yeah, look, the karmic was trying to trap the masculine. See what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. I'm splitting the damn deck. Yes, the karmic now was trying to trap the masculine. So basically, they wanted the masculine to lay something to rest with you. And they did. <laughs> they did. Four motherfucking swords. They did. They did lay some to rest with you. Look, I ran with the karmic lover. Okay, so that's what you did. Yep, and that's why shit is just not right. Yeah, the runner. Okay, the runner ran. Yeah, the runner ran. <clears throat> yeah, and now they're studying you. Trying to, you know, focus on you. This is a past life that you didn't have with this person. Right? We got boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? Behind it. Wow. So I told you. I told you it's a family member that was involved in this too. In this connection. In this in this situation. So it was a friend. Your lover. And then I just said a family member. And your family member is your motherfucking fake ass sister. That was involved. Helping this dang on friend. Keep this masculine or keep you in a loop or yeah or keep this person in the loop look we got the police involved again we just said arrested right so something is happening okay something has happened then we got record right so that means somebody was getting photo photo proof evidence right investigation right somebody was recording you straight up on your life and lie. Yep, what did I just say? Look at this. The five of wands. It's a lot of arguing and fighting going on. Okay, you can't see it because, you know, the gold is wearing off. But it's five of wands. A lot of arguing. Yeah, look. Help me. Somebody gonna need your damn help. And they not even fucking single. Stay your ass over there. Do you give a fuck? I don't think you do. Yeah, they in the five of damn cups. Okay, disappointed. All right, sad, disappointed, in pain. Yeah, Carmen keeping the masculine trapped. It came out. Okay, and what else? Yeah, and they asking the motherfucking hangman now. All right, they in the hangman. They trying to figure something out. You know, how to get their ass up out of a situation that they put themselves in by listening to your your sister, family member, and your freaking friend. Yeah. Yeah, somebody got paid. That's what happened. You don't have no contact with these people because you cut their ass off. Somebody got paid, and they feeling wounded, too. Been trying to defend themselves. Okay? Let's split this deck. Look, did I say something about a damn co-worker too? A fake ass co-worker involved in too. Man, I ain't lying. Yeah, temperance angel, but your angels out here, the Archangel Michael's here coming to balance some shit out. Some shit what they lied about and did. Balance that stuff to freaking out. Yeah, we got the high priestess, right? You trusting your intuition on the things what's going on. 
you made some type of sudden action that you took charge and you moved forward, all right? Or these are people here want to take charge and send some damn conflict your dang own way, right? But you too busy. You already recognize this stuff, but you too busy winning. Did I just say that? My car that. Yeah. Okay. All right. With victory. You too busy out here winning. You ain't even studying these dang on pe people at all. Yeah. You moving forward fast. Yeah. I'm sorry. Trust your neighbors too. Cause you don't trust your neighbors. All right. Cause they fucking weird. We got karmic masculine. All right. I'm, my fingers are split between these dang on cards. You got the star card I'm seeing too. Yeah, you the star. You the, you is the wish fulfillment, right? We got I'm sorry. We got the sun card that's coming out. So things, you getting clarity. Things are coming to the light. You are happy or things come to the light for these people to understand that you are happy. You are satisfied. We got neighbors. Okay, so don't trust your fucking neighbors. They, they fake as hell. All right, we got death threats. So I don't know if somebody who here was telling some mask in here they was going to be doing some type of death threats towards you. If they come towards you, if you choose her or him, I'm going to put a death threat on them, you know, and everything. Man, motherfuckers are fucking weird. And we got Carmen. I've seen sexual predator, too. Somebody has played the fuck out. I'm sorry. They are a dark entity. Yeah, somebody is lovesick. Okay? They, they know I messed up. I don't want him or her. But you chose that shit. You chose that shit. Look at this. Come on now. You chose that shit. Meeting up with them. You stuck with them. Okay? Alright? You chose that shit. Meeting up with them. You stuck with them. Let's get some damn tarot here. Yeah, somebody here was paying somebody here to fucking watch you. Somebody was giving an equal give and take somewhere else because somebody was lying. A friend or a sister was lying on you. Okay? Yeah, and doing fucking magic. Love spell. That backfired. You know? Lying on you. Yeah, high priestess. There you go. They was doing magic on the high priestess, meaning it was a hidden agenda behind the damn scenes. Okay? What else, spirit? Thank you. Yeah. Somebody chose to go in a partnership with somebody else, boyfriend or girlfriend, right here, to fucking come against you. Yeah. Did I just say with the dang on uh, the uh, Knight of Swords that I just showed earlier? That Look, it's right here. It's in my face. Right here. Trying to come after you. Right? Coming after you. But you took some sudden action, though. You moved forward. Right, you thrived on a change, but somebody was coming for you with conflict. For real, yeah. To slow you down, keep you from not moving forward. Yeah, whoever you are, you the queen of pentacles, you could be a man too, okay? Or this could have been a queen of pentacles, queen of pentacles in reverse, because the moon card is here telling me here that this person had hidden agenda. There was a lot of secrets behind this, okay? Yeah, if somebody here... Went, got with this person. This person was standing on Ten of Pentacles. Karma is here. Everything is going in reverse. All right. Somebody's losing their funds because, see, you're supposed to have the Ten of Pentacles with this dang on ex. But this ex chose to, to choose to um, choose to take heed of the lying which your the lying which your friend has said and your sister has said about you. All right. Trying to get some evidence and photo proof. So since they couldn't get no evidence and photo proof off of you they end up start lying about you straight up yeah because they're a spiritual hater all right hating on your spirituality all right your light and your magic and your power okay these motherfuckers are crazy okay your person is crazy too okay because that magic is backfiring on their ass they getting karma now we got the dang on page of cup now somebody want to come back and give you somebody want to make amends all right somebody want a second chance thank you holy spirit to come back towards you to see would you give them a second chance. All right? But you see that fish in that motherfucking cup? I want to trust a fucking soul. Straight up. Because it's magic. And they still doing the fucking work to try to bring you back. Because somebody know that you are the fucking one. I'm telling you, you in your strength and you in your power. Look at this king of wands over here. Okay? This king of wands, the one that's paid, paid your sister and paid motherfucker. Yeah, look at this. 
They feeling weak right now, paranoid, not a damn swords, okay? Can't sleep, can't eat, okay? Worrying, having anxiety, all right? Overthinking because they feeling with uh, guilt and regret, okay? Feeling weak, because why? Because they chose careless. They chose not to care, all right, and everything, right? Putting obstacles in your fucking damn life, and now they feeling some dang on type of way. Give me more spirit. People are weird. They do the weirdest shit. Yeah, with the moon card. More cards wants to come out. Yeah, so Spirit wants you to know that they feeling a burden. Somebody feel like a fool. Okay, because they took a leap of faith somewhere that they know they should never have went to. Period. Yeah, with the moon card, secretly. Okay, yeah, over some fucking lies. Yep, this king of motherfucking cup, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, death here. Yeah, something is ending. Okay, something is ending with this person. For real. We got the ten of cups. And then we got the four of swords. This was somebody was clinging on to, to somebody here that had the ten of cups, or it could be family, could be anybody. Look at this shit with the devil over some materialistic money or whatsoever. However, how they did this to bribe this person to come towards them over some materialistic or money or something like that. The person went for it and now they bound and stuck to the motherfucking devil. That's why I said the karmic trapped the fucking masculine. Okay. The karmic track trap the fucking masculine. It don't even matter. It could be a feminine, okay? Feminine can be in the masculine energy and shit and got trapped. So, all right, take it how it resonates. Clarify this, uh, yeah, they just get 10 for a cup. Clarify this King of Cups with the death card. It's King of Wands. Okay? It's supposed to be this emperor, but shit ain't shit, basically. Because they losing their fucking money. Yeah, it's the end of the cycle, world card. Yep, what did I just say? Did I just say they're losing their money? Look at this shit. Five of damn pinnacles with the world card. Homeless. Unemployed. Financial problems. Missed opportunity. Anything else, Spirit, before I could get off of here? Shit weird. Yeah. And now they watching you because they missed the passion that you was giving them. The real true love. The authentic love. The nurturing. The caring. The pure love. The pure honesty out of you. They all watching you. But this person in particular is watching you and spying and communicating with people that how much they miss the passion of you. Okay? What's behind it? Yeah. Because they stuck. Eight of Swords. They stuck where they at. And it's nothing you cannot even do nothing about it. Because they chose to collaborate and work against you. To come against you. To try to what? Block you. Destroy you and everything. Look. The lovers. The lovers that you walked away from or they walked towards. Yeah. What do the collective needs to know for themselves? Yeah. See, Spirit said so they were juggling. They still holding on to you, Four of Pentacles. The lovers, Four of Pentacles. They still holding on to you. All right. Yeah. They see you as the star. What do the collectives needs to know? <clears throat> Spirit say trust in the universe. Keep continuing on trusting in the universe, focusing on your growth, being honesty, being honest with yourself. Okay. What do the collective needs to know? Yep. You're going to be very successful. Okay? Make sure you talk to your angels. Ask your angels for things if you need any guidance. Forgive and understand why this situation had to happen. That's part of your growth. 
all right? And expect some miracles that's going to come your way. Let's do one of these sarcastic ass, funny ass cards because I feel like I want to do this. I don't know why I feel granted to do this. Let's see. This message can be for you or for them. Let's see. Let's see what spirits say. I'm going to do like... Maybe four. Give me a message, Spirit, that you have for the collector. And one more. Thank you. It said right here, you need a fucking big ass hug. Okay? So squeeze. So the universe is sending you a big hug. Okay, collectors? The universe is sending you a fucking big ass hug because you need it. You know, all this shit that you went through, these slanders and lies and backstabbing and shit and competition and stuff, you need it. All right? Getting the fuck out, get the fuck outside, move your ass, okay? Your body is pissed at you. So make sure y'all get outside, out in nature, all right? Get outside in nature because your body, your, your soul, your spirit... Your mind, body, and soul, you know, it needs that. It needs the, the outside. So get outside some more. Go to the park. Go take a walk, you know. Go love on you. Keep on continuing on nurturing you, all right? Because you deserve it. You are loved, okay? It said you need a fucking cry, all right? Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. So if you still crying and still, that's not for everybody, but if you still crying over the situation and stuff, spirit said, you know what? Get that ugly cry on. Go ahead, get 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 on, get that ugly cry on, get it on out the way, and let that shit go because your soul will thank you later. Your soul will thank you later. Okay. All right, your soul will thank you later. Okay. I like this because I feel like anybody who's been going through this stuff, and if you have been feeling some type of a way. And still been boohooing and crying about it. Okay, like I said, it's different energy for everybody. Half of everybody didn't heal. Some people are still in, still in the beginning, the middle of it, still moving forward about this situation. Some people just started. Just started just finding out how people are backstabbing them, hurting them, and then trying to betray them. People are already, they just so, you know what I'm saying? Be mindful of other people's feelings and thoughts, okay? Because you jump on my dang on comments hollering about some. Well, ain't nobody ain't doing that. Okay, you ain't doing that. All right, you heal. It's over for you, but have respect for others, okay? Because for number one, this ain't your whole, this whole message ain't you, okay? You got to understand other people go through this. It's, it's people that starting off um, going through this, finding out things, and it's people in the middle of it just knowing, you know, still trying to get half of the fucking story still. You know, they could be in between sad and fucking okay then you got people that's fully healed and they don't give a fuck like me okay so yeah be mindful okay of the people you know you can't speak for everybody okay it said you are talented and you are fucking amazing because you are talented and you are fucking amazing that's why they mad all right that's why they envy of you all right that's why they hating spiritually hating on you all right that's why they send you the evil eye because they is mad. It said the world needs your power. All right. Use your voice and just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay. The world needs you. No matter what you do. You don't have to have a platform. But you need to understand that the world needs your power. Okay. So use your voice and don't use it for dumb shit. Speak your truth. That's what it said right here. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Be honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Speak how you feel because you deserve that. All right. So, yeah, you are fucking talented and you're a fucking amazing. OK, so just know that. All right. So peace, love and harmony to a lot of y'all. And thank you so much. And I hope this message um, gave you a lot of guidance and understanding. And please don't hesitate to hit the like button. Please don't even hesitate to share. And if you are new, please subscribe. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I will see you again. A lot of love.